invite you to enjoy life, life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Bob Wally. Basco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So now, let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Me, well, now that I'm here in America over a year, I'm getting to act like a real America. All day long, I'm going to play the radio. <laughs> I'm listening to what they call a disc jack. That's the fellow. That's the fellow who not can sing, act, or make a funny joke, but he's got a big talent for playing a phonograph. <laughs> Over here, nobody is a sing, nobody is an act, nobody is a telephony joke. And nobody is a play record. It's just everybody to get the rich. <laughs> That's the night I'm here how one lady is a winner of refrigerator, gas stove, a mink coat, and a thousand of dollars. All because she's got a brain to answer the telephone. But <laughs> <laughs> mamma mia, I'm answer my telephone a thousand times since I'm an American. All I'm going to get is a bigger bill. <laughs> Another program I'm going to enjoy very much is Arthur Gadsby. Everybody is like him. He's a talk so easy, so smooth. And he's a so relaxed that sometimes I wonder why my radio is an awful old. <laughs> also, he's a play for what they call a ukulele. To me, Arthur Gadsby is a real American. So I'm by myself a ukulele, too. I'm a coming down to get you in a taxi, you honey. You gotta be ready at 8 p.m. <laughs> this is kind of good, huh, Mama Mia? Oh, wait till the cinema country, Mona Pasquale. Here's the money. Luigi, Marco! <laughs> hello, Luigi, hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. Hey, Luigi, my daughter Rose is asking me how she'll give you this letter. Huh? Oh, Valentine card. What a Pasquale, Valentine the day is in a February. But my daughter Rosa every day is a Valentine. <laughs> Go ahead, Luigi. She read what she's writing you inside. All right, sir. Let me see. Go ahead. Roses are red, violets are blue. If you marry me, I'll marry you. <laughs> well, what do you ask to my son? Pasquale, if I'm going to be sensible... I'm going to ask you to be sensible, be stupid, and marry my daughter. <laughs> no, Pasquale, she's just a fact. Fact, a fact. There you go with the fact of talk again. And, Luis, you remember one thing. Like a Professor Einstein says, everything in a life has got a relative. <laughs> Roses weigh 250 pounds. But compared to the fat lady in the circus who weighs 750 pounds, or to the elephant that's weighs two tons, roses is just a drop in the bucket. Who <laughs> buy a bucket? Pasquale, <laughs> please, no more talk about a rush. All right, all right, Sir Luigi. But uh, let's talk about you and your future. Future? Yes. After all, you're getting old all the time. You've got to start to think it. What do you want to be when you grow up? Well, uh, I don't know, Pasquale. How would you think? Uh, maybe I'm going to be an engineer and a build a bridge. So no good. This the country's got more bridges than it's got of water. <laughs> well, uh, a lawyer, maybe. That's bad, too. Are you going to knight the school? Even if you get a law diploma, you can only practice it and knight the court. <laughs> All right, then I'm going to be a doctor. 
A doctor, Louis, you make me laugh. But don't you know in America, a doctor's got to be an MD. And you initials are the LB. <laughs> LB? Sure. And in your case, the LB is the stand of a lazy bachelor. <laughs> Luigi, believe in me, is only one job for a fella like you who's got a no talent. What the job is this? Husband. <laughs> but what are you promising not to talk about? All right, all right. Calm down. Relax. <laughs> Don't forget about the road. All right. Oh, hey, hey, Pascal, I'm almost forgotten. Look what I'm about to myself today. Hey, what is that, frying a pan? <laughs> no, it's a ukulele. <laughs> looking like a fiddle that forgets to grow up. <laughs> what are you going to do with that thing? Kill the flies? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pascal, you should hear me play. I'm a kind of thing and the company of myself at the same time. Sounds like a double of suicide. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's only just to stand there, Luigi. Let's hear this a great talent to play something. All right, sir. What do you want I should have played? Mendelssohn's The Wedding March. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I asked it too hard. But I listen to this. Something I'm going to hear from Arthur Godfrey. He's a player. I'm going to come down to get you in a taxi, honey. Got to be there at 30 p.m. All right, all right. That's enough. That's no good, huh? That's no good. Luigi, I'm going to take back everything I'm going to say before about you. You've got to break a talent. Me? Oh, that's what it is. Are you making a fun? No, Luigi, I think you're sensational. If you was to lose a hundred pounds, get to look like a sick cow, and a singer like you just sang, Frank and Sinatra has got to go out of business. <laughs> Well, it's stop for teasing me. Luigi, use your head. Just to think, in America, who's the biggest mistake? Italian. Sinatra, Mario Lanza, Vic De Moore, Perry Como, Bing Crosby. <laughs> That's the Bing Crosby. And Pasquale, he's not Italian. He's an Irish-American. I don't care if he's a Scotch-Italian. <laughs> he's a singer, you know? That's right. Sure. Now, Luigi, you do like I say. It's the time you begin to plan for your future. Pasquale, you're not just making a fun of it to me, huh? I mean, you really think I can be big like a Sinatra? Sure. You're Italian. You've got a nice face, and you can sing. Right away, you've got a three strikes against you. <laughs> and best of all, when the women look at a Sinatra, they want to mother him. But you got a face, and when they look at it, everybody's going to have a pity. Oh, Pasquale, you're giving me big ambition. I'm going out to my night school class and tell my friends all about the UID. Go, go, go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, goodbye. Goodbye. Come on, come on, Danny. Getting in the taxi behind me. Better be ready Mr. Vasco? Present. Mr. Harwin? Present. Mr. Olson? Present. Mr. Schultz? <laughs> well, Mr. Schultz, why don't you answer? Because tonight I'm playing hard to get. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, fellow Who I ain't I the little devil cop tonight. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, instead of disrupting the class, why don't you concentrate on your work? Now, our English lesson tonight concerns the subjunctive mood. Now, Mr. Schultz, tell us about the use of the subjunctive. Or don't you know? Who, me? I should know the subjunctive. Miss Spalding, believe me, if anybody Just knows... Just tell us about the subjunctive, Mr. Schultz. Fine, all right, the subjunctive. But that's... Uh, i got to give an example. Uh, if I say you were so... Uh, well, that's no good. Uh, subjunctive. Now, will you take, for instance, that... Uh, Look, well, now, subjunctive is not this. What? Miss Barney, I can't stand and give me the confession. I sign on the bottom and you can hang me. <laughs> uh, we'll 
somebody else try. Mr. Basco, what do you think? I think I'm a singer as good as Sinatra. <laughs> what? Well, if Pasquale is to hear me sing on my ukulele, and he says I'm going to make a fortune because even being a Crosby, he's a Scotch Terry. <laughs> what? <laughs> Luigi, you should be careful with your friend Pasquale. Every piece of advice he gives you is aimed at only one target, Rosa. Target? The whole shooting gun. <laughs> Start from the beginning and tell us the whole story. Class, the subjunctive mood no, is... Please, Miss Spaulding. We already killed that. Let's not return to the scene of the crime. <laughs> Miss Spaulding, tell I tell them all about the subjunctive. Oh, please. If you can't think of something stupid to say, shut up. <laughs> no, Luigi, what is with you and Pusquale? Well, uh... Pasquale is to hear me sing and I play my ukulele. And he says I should sing on a radio. What do you think he should? I think between you and television, radio is doomed. <laughs> sure, that wasn't a nice thing to say. Maybe Luigi has got a talent and someone should exploit it. But that's nice, Luigi. If you got the talent, I would like to be the first one to explode it. <laughs> I guess, I guess I'm going to make a fool of myself. No, no, no. Stop that talk, Luigi. I was only fooling. Who knows? Maybe if you got it in you to be a little Sinatra, the only way you can find out is to die. That's right, Luigi. There's a lot of amateur shows on the radio and even in the movie theater. You're very young. Near me, Luigi. That was a good idea. Amateur show? Well, sure, Luigi. Pasquale says you got talent, but maybe he's just looking to make a fool from you. You should go to the amateur show and prove it. Precious, do you really think I should have gone to this amateur show? Why not? Look, Luigi, there's an amateur show right in our neighborhood movie every Tuesday night. That's right. Now, look, I go with you after class and we're going to get you signed up. You're hot ass right there and we'll even come to the theater and applaud like crazy. Well, all right, so maybe I can do that. Class, you really think I'm going to be good? You might be very good, Mr. Basco. Sure, Luigi. In America, anything can happen. Uh, you're for Jiminy. Luigi, the crew. Yes. Yes. Sure, oh. Luigi. When Sinatra sings, the young girls, they faint. One note from Luigi's voice, and he wipes out the whole country. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia, is it possible that your son Luigi is going to be a millionaire from a singing? If this is a happening, Mamma mia, right away I'm a stand for you. Aunt Margarita, Uncle Pietro, and his ghost. <laughs> sure. And if the ghost is like it here, he can stand for his girlfriend. <laughs> of course, he don't have to. This is a Chicago. They got a stocky eye, and there's a lot of ghosts to them. Anyway, uh, hey, Luigi, how come you didn't tell me you're going to be in the amateur show? Well, Pasquale, you told me I should have planned it for the future. So Schultz is advice. Oh, right? that is Schultz is taking over, eh? Luigi, why all the time are you running for advice to a delicate test of a man who's going to know only about a me when you know i am got everything in my head? Well, you're so right, Pasquale. You're the biggest of me, Ted, I know. <laughs> Funny thing, when I'm saying it to come out of difference. <laughs> well, Luigi, I'm no mad at you. After all, anybody who's to help you helps me because I'm your manager. You, you, my, my manager. Sure. Who's to discover you, Columbus? <laughs> die, die, I'm going to get some return on the investment I'm going to make on you. What an investment? Well, Luigi, you know, realize that this, but it's to take a big money to build up a new singer. First of all, for this amateur hour, I got a sweet kid sitting in the audience to clap for you. That's a 30 cents. <laughs> also, right now, I'm taking you to a singing teacher to polish you up. You got a singing teacher for me? Sure, I'm a spare, no expense. That's another 25 cents. <laughs> 
Sorry, just a thing of a teacher. He's a charge of 25 cents. Sure. I could have got it for less, but I'm a one for the private election. <laughs> hey, you see, Luigi, spending all of this money on you, I'm a got to protect myself. So that's why you're going to sign this to manage the contract. But the Pasquale is such a little apprentice. What's the kind of manager the contract is it is? The usual is 10% the kind. Uh -huh. Everything you earn, you get a 10%. <laughs> Come on, it's time before I'm a call up a Sinatra and a sign of him. Well, all right, the first story. I, I, I sign. Oh, I think good, Luigi. I'm going to give you the biggest build up anybody's ever get. You could have sing of the president's the ball. Command the performance for the king and queen of England. Everybody's a one of you. You in such a demand, you work in a day and a night, a night and a day. You even overwork yourself. And then one day, you know what to happen? Who out there? You drop dead. <laughs> From that time on, your popularity to grow. People, they write stories about you. And in Hollywood, they make a follow-up with the jokes and the things again. Is it called Bosco things again? Mamma <laughs> mia. Is it a Technicolor? Sure, and Larry Fox is never going to look better. <laughs> ah, hello, Mr. Gregory. I'm bringing you Luigi Bosco, you know, too. Good, very good. How do you do, Mr. Bosco? I'm a glad to meet you, Mr. Gregory. Uh -huh. I don't like that breathing. How long have you been breathing that way? <laughs> what do you say? I say, how long have you been breathing that way? Ever well, since I was born. <laughs> well, stop it. Huh? A singer must learn to sing from deep down. Here, listen to this. <laughs> now you try it. But I'm not going to breathe that way. Don't be silly. Now go over to that window. All right. There, now, throw your chest out. <laughs> well, throw your chest out. Please, the first thing you pick up is the Venetian of Lime. Uh, Luigi, don't talk a stupid thing like a fool. I can handle this, Miss Puffwally. Now, Mr. Bosco, let me hear you sound A. A what? <laughs> The musical note. A, A, A. Open the mouth, open the mouth. Close the mouth, close the mouth. Close the mouth, open the mouth. From the diaphragm. <laughs> What's the best? The diaphragm, diaphragm. Louis, you don't be so stupid. And when somebody's a draw something for you, that's a diaphragm. <laughs> Will you please keep out of this? That's funny. Maybe we go home. Listen, Mr. Gregory. I'm bringing him here. You should learn him to sing professional so he's a win amateur show. And enough to be insulted. And I'll show him how he's going to sing with his ukulele. Can he play that uke? Yes. Can you play by ear? No, I'm a use of the fingers. <laughs> Please, that's the night. Tell me, Mr. Basco, are you familiar with the mic? No, I'm never even a met him. <laughs> well, all right, let me hear you sing something. All right. I'm a comet to get you in a taxi. Hold me, no. Hold me, no. Hold me, no. Hold me, no. Not you look. What are you doing? Taking a nap in a meat chopper? <laughs> Hush, this is a long story. But Squally is a tech commit to sing at a tick. Yeah. And it teaches a hole in my nose, a slap in my face, a punch in my stomach, and as you say, as you say, I'm not kind of thing unless I'm a finger down in my diaphragm and a throw away my chest. <laughs> Luigi, 
Luigi, are you for shimmers? <laughs> but, 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 what's the use to talk? Come on, it's time you should go to the amateur show. So she's all a thing. I'm not to go on to the amateur show. I'm not through with the singing. So, Luigi, you're all mixed up. You ain't supposed to retire until after you make the million dollars. <laughs> Please, the shoes, this is no use to fool of myself for no more. Some of the people that are born with to be rich and a famous are the people they are born. That's all. <laughs> that being born is one of the best things that could happen to a person. Without that, he's nothing. <laughs> what the... Now he's got me for shimmers. <laughs> no way, the reach into my head an idea just popped. I am going to appear with you on the stage. Sure, to you and me? Sure, sure. We form an act. Basto and Schultz. Oh. No, I mean Schultz and Basto. <laughs> I tell funny jokes, you sing, and the audience throws. <laughs> so what do you say to me, Jesus? Schmeil. <laughs> Schultz, Schultz, you wonderful. Oh, sure, forget what the teacher said to you. <laughs> so he said, throw away your cat. By the Nasra threw over his chest and he made a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me hear you sing Nacho. Come, come, down. I took care of you in a taxi car. No, no, stop, stop. <laughs> you took it enough taxis today to put the subways out of business. <laughs> so come, we go to the amateur show. I teach you a few jokes and lose all. Should you, you sure it's going to be all right? Sure, I'm sure. Luigi, be like me. Don't worry. Smile. Be happy. My aroma is a machine. Get ready. The piano act is almost oh, over. You're I'm next. so nervous. I'm so glad I'm going to get the help up from you, my friend. Luigi, be glad to help out. But it was Schultz's idea. Your that's right, Luigi. You will feel better when you hear us singing with you in the chorus. That's right, Luigi. Also, I got another idea. Confidential. I got ten kids coming to clap for us. You got ten kids? I got ten kids, too. Jump in here, many I own. So got ten kids. Thirty kids is coming. Himmel, but I like to have the sneaking in confession. Thank you, Barney Robbins. That was three-year-old Barney Robbins playing a Beethoven sonata with one hand. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to introduce another neighborhood act, Schultz and Basco. Luigi, yes, sir. Luigi, tell me, who was that lady I see you with last night? That wasn't no lady, that wasn't my wife. <laughs> Give him the hook. Go ahead, Luigi. Here you are, I said. Uh, sure, sir. I want to stand and you're expecting somebody at your house. That's right, Luigi. We are expecting a little bundle from heaven. Whoever is it? Your wife, or she's having a baby? No, that's my uncle. He's a midget and he's flying in from Australia. <laughs> Give him the hook. Luigi, don't stand there. Sing or start ducking. <laughs> And all the cow poker went rising in the park when a windy day. <laughs> Upon the ridge, he took a rest and then he went away. All at once, a mighty heart that a red skin of scows he saw. <laughs> when it through the ragged skies and up to the cloudy draw. <laughs> The brand was still on a fire, and the hook was made of steel. The horns was black and shiny, and the hot the breath that he could have feel. A bolt of the fear went through a man at the 
and ride it through the sky. For as I saw the riders coming hard at death, and as then he heard them start to cry. <laughs> Another big thing for my future. Pasquale is to see how I'm a catch of tomatoes on a stand with my hand. So he's to buy me baseball a glove. Yes, sir, Mamma Mia. Pasquale is going to manage me, and I'm going to be a second of Joe DiMaggio. Uh-huh. Your loving son, Luigi Basco, the little immigrant. Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco describing his adventures in America. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is written by Matt Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Matt Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale. And Conrad is Joe, Mary Ship as Miss Balding, and Jody Gilbert as Rosa. 